Hello, I'm Vice Elric, and welcome back to the Dragon Quest VIII walkthrough. This is part 69. Yes, it is the sexy part. And why is it the sexy part? You'll find out. You'll find that there's phallic imagery everywhere. This is a bank where you quote-unquote deposit, wink wink, nudge nudge, your gold. The reason this is useful is because if you are, uh, knocked out in battle, you won't lose the money you've saved in the bank. The only negative is that you can only deposit it in, uh, amounts of thousands. And another battle! Yay! Tap Devils. I think these are new. I don't know. In Bodkin Fletchers, whatever the hell a Fletcher is. Their mom's a Fletcher. I'm just using the same strategy for safe measure. Their arrows are penetrating the party and their defenses. Wink wink, nudge nudge. Sexual innuendos abound in your window. <sighs> well, this isn't nearly as bad as what you'll experience on the open ocean. I mean, how to put this? On the open ocean, there's a random battle about every three steps. It's... It's not good. <laughs> Let's finally get back to the boat. And go to the western continent. We don't get to the western continent in this part, though. We get to that in the next part? I don't know. Let me check. Yeah, like a seven part seventy or seventy one. Just checking to see if I'm going the right way, which I'm not. And uh head in between those uh, big continent thingies. Sea urchins and hawkmen. Hawkmen are the more dangerous of the group. Sea urchins, not so much. Just a bit tedious. Nothing really interesting to say. Except now that you're, uh, you have the ship, you can go places you normally you wouldn't be able to. Which I'll show you when I'm... Uh, I'll actually be showing you places you normally wouldn't be able to go to once I get uh, the other mode of transportation. Those of you who have played this game, you know what I'm talking about, but I won't tell it to the other people. No, we know right, not that one, uh, the next one after the next mode of transportation. Yeah, I make the trip to Argonia a lot shorter. <laughs> Which I recommend that you do, because one, you get an Yggdrasil leaf on the way while doing that, and that's always helpful. And two, um... I'm going to say. Oh yeah, it's just a whole lot faster. It's still long though, but it's a lot faster. It'll cut your uh, travel time by at least half. But I'm no mathematician, and so I wouldn't know. Evils, I think they're called. 
Yes, evils. Or evils. I don't know. But they look like big penises, so we'll just call them peevils. Or penises. I don't know. Boarfish can poison you because they're part pufferfish, and ah ha ha ha, if you eat pufferfish, you will get poisoned and die for some reason. I still haven't looked that up, though. Whatever. In any case, Yangus is now poisoned, and, uh, the penis is sticking its tongue out at us. Kill the penis. Bad penis monster. Bad. No raping Japanese schoolgirls. Alright, now that that little thing is over, we can actually move on with the actual game. I know, right? Progress! Alright. Yeah, I fail at a few alchemy pot recipes, so I just go on. I think I do. I'm not sure. I think that if I didn't fail, I'd show you. Whatever. Alright, in this little area, this fjord, fjord, uh, you meet sea dragons. There's an infinite number of them. They will never run out. Ever. What you want to do the first turn is make sure you use as many normal attacks as you can get to right now because after the first turn you will not be able to use them. After that you'll either need to use spells or abilities where you never miss. Because it blinds you. It's not an incredibly hard boss, I mean not boss, a monster. It just looks intimidating and Giga Flash is annoying. That about wraps up for this part. I am Bicelric and I will see you next time. Take care.